today's episode of the Dice Hunter, we'll be scaling Karnak's wall. Hey, how come everyone gets to take a bathroom break except me? I haven't hung a leak since this whole quest business started. Lucid Abstract here, the Dice Hunter, in another video, and we're going to be climbing Karnak's wall. Collecting the dice. There's a total of 20 dice here, and uh, it does require doing the quest line, so we're just going to be gathering them in that order ish. I'm going to do my best to coincide it with the quest line without showing the quest story. So let's get into it. We're starting off right at the beginning, right where you come in, right past the vendors. First one's pretty close, you just get over the gap. And then right after this first mini bridge, we right here on our right. We'll just climb these, jump up, and this will be our first one. This is where it's at on the map. Alright, so from here, you just continue on with the story. Skip the first right, but take the second right. And you're gonna hug the right up the stairs. Right up here will be our next one. The more the dice, the better the loot. Now we're gonna head to the next. Stay the right, come through here. I see all the purple everywhere. Take it right in here. Let's be our next one. Ooh, what's going on? All right, so from here. We continue onward. But then right as you come down here, you want to turn around and there's one hiding right here. This one later, we'll be back for it. All right, we'll reach the top of the elevator. Get off, we're gonna go to the right. So at this point, just keep following the indications of where the main quest is telling you to go. Come through this area.
Jump the traps. Keep cruising. And in the back, there's like a little cubby space back here. This is gonna be our next one. This is where we're at on the map. Do some platforming. Now, if you just hold mantle for most of that, it's pretty easy. This will be our next one. So where it's at on the map. Alright, so now we're going to jump down. Following the path of the quest line, it'll lead you through the same spots. Screw around all the way up to the top. This is our next one. Alright, so just keep following the quest line. You'll repair the elevator and you'll come up to the top. And you'll come into this room. one right here next to the cannons. This is where we're at on the map. It's all the way at the top. You'll continue on the quest to kill the boss. After you kill the boss, you'll get the ability to use these things, which will allow us to get to some of the other dice. And so after you get that, you can just turn around. And on the left side here, it's gonna be our next dice. Lucky you. This is where it's at. Grab the quest. Now you just keep on that quest, it'll bring you through here, back to where we were originally. Come up the stairs this way. You'll see there's one underneath the elevator we took earlier. Crouch and get under here. Be our next one. Hey, you feel That's where we're at on the map. And we're gonna come back out of there. Go back up the stairs. Now we'll be able to use this and open the wall. 
grab our next one right here. Another look at where we're at. I'll just continue on the quest, head towards the wyvern area. A quick look at the map. Get over here to the wyvern area. You come around to the side right here. There's one hiding in the back. So after that quest, you're gonna want to come pick up this quest from this guy. Spell to pay. Just past the uh, obelisk. I recently discovered a tome which describes. So after you get that quest and you come over to the wyvern nests, you come up on this purple launcher, go this way, <clears throat> climb up here, and we're gonna circle around to the back, and this will be our next one. Quick look at the map. This is where we're at. So once you complete that quest, it'll open this room here. And you can finally come in and grab this one. This will be our next one. Alright, so we're gonna pick up the other side quest. Ancient powers. This is where you can get it. Alright, so before we head to do that quest, we're gonna detour this way a little bit. this here, we're gonna drop down onto his ribs, circle around, and then there's a hole here, and inside this <coughs> hole, this is gonna be our next one. This is where it is on the map. head to where that quest tells us to go. So this quest will open this door, opening the other area that we can get to, continue onward, keep on along the quest, and it'll open more areas. Alright, so keep on doing the quest. You're looking for the inner sanctum. You'll break down some little red walls, and you'll come in here, and you're going to head to the back. run along the spine here and this will be our next one this is where it's on the map and then again another spot where we'd be blocked by not doing the quest go in the portal This one's hiding in the back here. Oh. 
So now we're gonna port back to the ribs. We're gonna run it from here. This little bridge past the one earlier down here. Just gonna run by all them. Run the back here. We can open the switch now. Quick look at where we're at. Come in here, and this will be our last one. been lucid abstract the dice hunter and we just collected all the dice in Karnok's wall you guys have a good day I'll see you in the next one